So for example, um, the brain uh, has to maintain a balance between excitation and inhibition. So the endocannabinoid system is very importantly involved in regulating inhibitory processes in the brain. So the presynaptic neuron will um, release endocannabinoids. And the two major endocannabinoids are called 2-arachidonoglycerol or 2-AG, and then anandamide is the other uh, major one. So those are the two major sort of naturally occurring endocannabinoids. They serve slightly different functions. We're still trying to figure out exactly what they do. Um, but we know that um, both of them are involved in sort of this retrograde inhibitory modulation of the, of the synapse itself, and primarily involved in sort of uh, regulating ex ex excitation and inhibition balance in various brain areas. And of course, they're, they're highly regulated in areas of the brain that are responsible for emotional processing, for cognitive processing, like the, the frontal cortex, uh, the amygdala, for example, the striatum. So you can imagine that disturbances in the balances between those endocannabinoids are, are major risk factors for a lot of different mental health disorders. Yeah, yeah. And I guess bird's eye view you know, the brain, you know, there's information flowing through the brain in the form of, uh, you know, electrochemical activity, that information needs to be patterned, it needs to be structured and constrained. And in simplified terms, you don't want over excitation, you don't want under excitation, and the cannabinoids are an important mechanism preventing things from getting out of hand or yeah. under hand. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And so like, where, where, how does our body make them? Like, what are the, what are the pieces that go into producing them and where do they ultimately come from? Well, two of the major uh, precursors for the endocannabinoids are DHA and EPA. I won't, I won't uh, attempt to pronounce the full name, but those are of course the omega-3 fatty acids. 